It's Vlogmas Day night. So y'all, that sounds like church, but um, yeah, it's Vlogmas Day now. Today they said that it's gonna be snow. It's snowing today. Okay. It's got. I looked on the weather app. Why you ain't got your uh blinker on? Dumb already, bro. I looked on the weather app. I'm going across the street to Starbucks, but. It's snow flurries all the way until 7 a.m. tomorrow. That's what the weather, the weather app got on there. So I was the band. Because, you know, Georgia shuts the fuck down. Okay, when it snows, they shut down. Georgia shuts down when it snows. They do not. And it be like, it don't even be a lot of snow. But then people can't drive because they scared for whatever reason. And it don't even be like ice on the ground. They said it's not supposed to be no ice until y'all move out the way. Golly, don't want nobody to get in front of you. Move. People get on my nerves doing that. Y'all make no sense. Anyway, like they don't want you to get in front of them. We all going to the red light, so I'm confused. Of what's the big deal? Oh my God. Okay. Anyway. So, Georgia, like last year, they did this. I called off, when I worked at comments, I called off, like, oh no, I'm not gonna be able to do it because I ain't got time. And it didn't even end up snowing like that, y'all. I think it snowed, like, literally a little bit. Literally, probably, like, a little bit. So, this, I don't know. And it's traffic like heck. I don't know what to do. Like, I really don't know what to do. I don't know if I should stay home and just work on some shit I need to work on. Or should I go ahead and go to work? Which I think I'm gonna go ahead and go to work. I mean,. It can't really hurt too much or nothing, but at the same time, it's kind of like, mm, cause I get off at six o'clock, and six o'clock it's gonna be about cold, and I don't know how that ride home about to look at six. That's what I'm saying. I feel like everybody got a Tesla now. Everybody named Mama. I used to want that car. I can't even really vlog outside cause it's raining. So, I don't want no water to get in my phone. I'm like, let me vlog. This is going to be a car vlog for sure. Y'all yeah, know I vlog a lot in the car, just in general. Hopefully, they got some bags and bagels today at the Starbucks because, you know, my homegirl came up in here and took all 93 of them. All right, y'all. And I was editing my vlog, and I realized that I need to stop cussing so much. Like, for real, for real. It's not good. I cuss a lot. I know I always say that, but it's getting worse. Oh, it, uh uh, it's a little snow. Uh, y'all can't see. I wish y'all could see it, but it's a little snow, bro. I'm about to fuck around and go home. Hold on, let me figure it out. I'm about to get me some coffee and some bagels, and I'm gonna figure it out. And then I'm gonna... Merry Christmas. All right, y'all. So I, I decided I'm gonna go ahead and go to work. I'm, I was gonna tell y'all, I've been trying to tell y'all this for like three, four days. Like, real life, I've been trying to tell y'all this, but it hasn't been working out because I can't never remember. But, so. I'm, um, I was about to tell y'all, so, I was on my live or whatever, I'm on my live, and my sister comes into my live or whatever, so she's like, my, this is my sister on my dad's side, so she's like, oh, I'm out shopping, I'm about to get a dress, so I'm like, oh, why, so she's like, oh, um, we're having a surprise birthday party for auntie, for one of my aunties, now this is my favorite auntie out of all the aunties, right, so, not to mention, no one called, no one said anything, and my family on my daddy's side always does that. Like, they always forget to call everybody, or they don't call us, like, and I don't know why I take it personally. I think it really hit, like, hard for me because, yeah, I'm gonna fuck around and cry. I'm sensitive as fuck, so y'all can't really, I ain't nothing wrong with me, I'm just, that's just how I am. So, um... You, when you really think about it, like my dad died, so my dad died two years ago, and <clears throat> he was like the lifeline, kind of like, okay, I knew about stuff because of my daddy. Like he'd be like, oh, we having dinner at such and such house for Christmas, or we doing this, this and that. Oh, your grandma, like my grandma was living, oh, your grandma having a birthday party. And that was my connect through to the family, you know what I'm saying? So I would be able to go to stuff and all that. Now, like, I don't know, I'm not in my feelings, but like, I don't know, it just fucks with me. Because I feel like y'all been all on, like, I've been on Facebook, I don't even be on Facebook, but I've been on there trying to make statuses and stuff because I'm just trying to build myself on there. And ain't nobody said a word. Like, 
one of my cousins even called me and I ain't, I ain't even said a word. Like, I don't know. It just really got underneath my skin. And I just like, Alexa, that's something that you just got to let go. Like, you just have to let that go. You know how you just be dwelling in something like, what? Like, why would they do that? Da, 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 da. But it's just something you got to let go. I just have to let that go for real, for real. It really bothered me though. Like, I, she like, I barely knew when I live here. I'm like, but still, like, I definitely would have flew in for my auntie's birthday. Like, or I would have tried to drive up there. Like, I didn't never understand. I don't understand that. <laughs> I don't know it. And like I said, I really feel like I feel some type of way because my daddy is no longer here and I don't have that lifeline to that family anymore. So, I don't know. I just feel like they don't exist. Like, not to say they don't exist, but I just I just feel like they don't exist. That's how I feel. <laughs> That's how I feel, bro. I ain't did nothing. Yeah, I'm gonna say they don't exist. That's just what it is. But I mean, you learn from everything and you move forward. I just don't ever want my kids to feel like that. Like, when I'm dead and gone, I don't want my kids to feel like, oh, we know, well, I don't think my kids will be close to my mama family and stuff, or my family and my mama, because I'm not really close to them like that. So, I don't know, I just hope that later down the line in other generations, that's not mine, that, that my great, great grandkids don't feel like that about their grandma or granddaddy, you know what I'm saying? Or their mama or, or their mama died and they feel like everybody left. It's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. I, I've been trying to tell y'all that for like four days. That's the crazy part, and I could never think of it. I was in Starbucks like, what did I have to tell them, bro? What did I have to tell them? Time to get older, you start to really value having a family and spending time with your family and doing this and that. And I don't have that, so it's kind of like, yeah, I don't have that. Or I don't want to be bothered at the same time. It's kind of very weird. But that is how I be laying. Like, oh, yeah, no, I don't really want to be bothered. Or you don't want to be around people that just don't make you feel good or feel happy. You know, I like to be around people that make me feel good. And this rain and shit starting to pick up, dog. This snow. This snow and rain, whatever sleep, whatever it got going, it's starting to pick up. So I don't know, man. I don't know if I should go to work or not. still sitting here debating. I'm only like one exit up from my uh, house today because it is raining like heck. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's raining. It's raining, sleeting, the snow, I don't know. It look like snow, but it look like rain. It's snow though, for sure. It's like snow flurries. I need to focus because these people can't drive. Look at this car, y'all. It got the rise up. People know they love some Falcons. He got the Falcons thing all on there, the tires, everything. Look at it. Traffic was not that bad, actually. So, yeah, I'm real happy. Like, I think all the schools are, like, closed and stuff. The, it's just raining now. It's not really snowing. I got here, like, pretty quick. I put to start work at 9.30. It's 8.50. I'm about to be at work in eight minutes. So, yeah, it wasn't that bad. Now, people that was going back my way, it was traffic. Like, fuck. I don't know. Normally, if it's traffic, I don't normally pay attention. So, I don't know. But they was coming out of Atlanta, so I don't know. Maybe they work in the suburbs. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. But the, the ride here wasn't that bad. I thank God for that because normally I have to leave out early as hell. I would still be in traffic right now if it was a regular day. Like, literally still be in traffic. So I'm already in Atlanta, so that's really good. Y'all, it's actually snowing in real life. I can't believe it. I gotta tell y'all about my job uh, when I get to my car. But, look, it's really snowing. Yeah, look at the line. What's the line should be up there? Uh, look at the line and get on the freeway. What's the line? Levi. Look at the line and get on the freeway, no, Levi, dog. Like. What's some other two? Raru and, uh. Wade said it's going to take me an hour to get home. A whole hour. And my gas is, like, right there. And I hope I don't run out of gas. Maybe I should have got some before I got on the freeway. But my car does pretty good with gas, so I don't know. I'm just annoyed at this point. I really got to tell y'all, when I get home, I'm going to tell y'all really what went down at work. Like, how they didn't want to let us go, though. Like, what the fuck? All right, y'all. So, I'm at finally by my house. I'm at Publix. It took me literally 
like an hour 30 minutes but it wasn't bad it felt like it felt like like probably like an hour 15 minutes but it felt like rush hour traffic it didn't feel bad once i got on the freeway it wasn't that bad so yeah that's where we at with that now i gotta find food because i wanted something from a restaurant but i was like no you just gonna go and get something from um Publix, but Publix is packed. Like, there's so many people in here. The parking lot is so full. I'm gonna tell y'all what happened at work when I get home because y'all know I gotta get loud. I get loud and I get like, I talk very harshly, so. <laughs> I gotta tell you. I don't wanna tell y'all in the car. I'm gonna tell y'all when I get home. All right, y'all. So, let me tell y'all what went down. So, I'm at work or whatever. It's snowing. So, it wasn't snowing that bad. Y'all saw it wasn't snowing at all or nothing. So, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and, um, go to work i'm just gonna go ahead and go so i get to work it starts snowing so i'm telling my i told my supervisor like you know if it starts snowing and if it starts sticking i'm um going home so she was laughing like okay i ain't say nothing but i was serious as hell so it starts snowing even heavier it starts snowing even heavier so at this point i'm just irritated like why are we still here we need to close you know what i'm saying people got to make it home safely so um she like, I, I tell I tell the manager, I said, well, I'm about to go home probably uh, in a minute because the snow is sticking and I, I live like 30 minutes away and it's going to probably be an hour for me to get home. So she's like, oh, um, it's certain protocol you got to go through. I got to see who going to work. I got to see who going to work your uh, section and all this. And I got to see who going to work. And um, it's another girl that want to go home. She stayed like an hour away too. It's another girl that want to go home. So I gotta. I, I told her I'm gonna let. I might let her go. I said, okay, I understand that. But if it start to stick, I'm gonna have to go home. <laughs> you, what you telling me? You telling me your problems and what your issue is with it? I don't really don't give a damn. Like that don't. Buy, I, what are you telling me for? I'm telling you what I'm gonna do. I'm not asking you nothing. I'm not asking you. Can I go ahead and go? I'm telling you what I'm gonna do. Like, the thing with taking these little jobs, these little, you know what I'm saying, it'd be like, I'm grown. I'm not no damn kid. When I was 18, 19, I probably would have stayed and then tried to fight it out at 6 o'clock. I am 28 years old. I'm not going to be able. So, I, I said, okay, well, I, I'll give you to 12. No, I said I'll give you to 1, I think. I think I said 1 o'clock. So, she just walked away, but I could tell she kind of had an attitude, but I don't care. I don't give a damn because if I, if I leave here at 6 o'clock and the roads have ice on their body in and I have slide off the road, I can't call you for help. If I get stuck, I can't call you for help. So, therefore, I'm going to go home like I just told you. So, the other manager come in and she's going to tell me to go talk to him. So, I'm like, oh, I'm about to go home because it starts it start snowing even heavier. I'm like, oh, I'm about to go home. So, she's like, I'll go ask, go talk to him. So, she kind of ignoring me. So, she kind of says... Whoever got to drive fire, they gonna it ain't gonna be good. Da, 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 da. So I'm like, oh, I'm about to go. So she was like, go talk to the other managers. So I go over there. I tell him, I said, oh, I'm about to um go home because um it's snowing and I live like an hour. I live like 45 minutes, 30, 45 minutes away from here, and it's snowing and it's sticking. So I'm about to go home. He like, well, I guess I'm gonna have to find somebody else for your position. Okay. That don't bother me none, not even a little bit. I said, well, I, well, I guess I gotta worry about me. That's what I told him. I have to worry about myself. So sorry, but I gotta worry about me. And I kept it moving. Y'all yeah, know when I'm going across the street, walking across the street by myself, you don't never ask. If I close with him, he don't never ask. Oh, do you need a ride across the street? Nothing. Y'all don't give a damn about y'all employees, obviously, because that's that's what y'all showing me. So therefore, no, you want to be in people's face and be smiling at the people you want to be smiling at. But it says a lot about a company that doesn't close down when it's snowing. And you know Georgia can't handle snow. And you see it getting thicker and thicker. And you see it sticking to the ground. And you still talking about, oh, we waiting. We waiting. Waiting on what? Waiting on what? And there's people in there that's not even going to say nothing. I'm about to go home. Now, I'm going to tell you what it is. And I, I gladly got my shit. And she checked my bag out. I don't know if she had an attitude or not. And I don't care. And I'm gone. Have a good day. He had like he had an attitude. He just was staring. I don't care. I don't care about none of that. No. Y'all got me messed all the way up. Y'all be like I told y'all, these little jobs trying to work you to death or want you to come in, want you to work holidays, want you to work while it's snowing, want you to work when it's raining, sleet, hail, snow, thunderstorm coming. No. No. Y'all got to cut that out. You so worried about getting money that you cannot <clears throat> you so worried about getting money. You don't even care about your employees? The people that make y'all the money? I'm not staying up in here. Y'all crazy. I don't give a damn if I live right across the street, I'm still not staying. No. Oh, that blew me. Like, that really got underneath my skin. It really made me want to be like, yeah, I'm straight on this job. 
luckily it is a temporary job so hope let i may stay if they let me stay if i don't stay i don't i really don't it really don't make me no different but what's right it was right is what's wrong was wrong what's wrong when i tell you that snow was coming down it just started coming back down so what if i would have it had stopped i'm like oh dang when i got when i pulled up at home i'm like oh maybe i could have stayed but now it's snowing even harder no look at the snow who who and georgia don't have no salt who who about to walk girl look at the snow look at that who about to girl who was about to be at work explain that to me who was about to be at work talking about they, can't, they said i can't go then what messed me up was they let the other girl go, the one I stay an hour away. They let her go. But I feel like it's all in your approach and stuff, because y'all know how I'm laying. I think she kind of asked, and they was like, okay, we we'll go ahead and let you go. Me, I'm not asking nothing, because I'm grown. I'm not asking, I'm not asking. Do y'all think I could go? No, I'm about to go. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. Period. Girl, that, ooh, that blew me. I swear to God, this is my last job. I'm never working for nobody ever again. Mark my words. Mark this day, okay? Mark this day. I'm going to write it down. I'm going to write it down, actually. I'm never working for nobody ever again. After this job, this is it. I can't do it. Like, And I kept on thinking, like, if I had my own company, like, I would not let my employees work when it's snowing like this. Nothing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, You need to care about your employees. Because when you show that you don't care about them, they don't do nothing but lower morale and make them not want to work for you. So that's all they do. That's just crazy, man. I forgot the rap, y'all. Okay, let's see what this do. It's Vlogmas Day 9. It's Vlogmas Day 9. They try to make me stay at work. It's Vlogmas Day 9. Don't you know I can't stay? It's Vlogmas Day 9. And I ain't got time to be fucking with you blind. She didn't want to let me go. I swerved her on the freeway. I said, bye, sis. I'm gone. What you going to do? Hey, I really can't play with these jobs on the day. And I really can't play with these niggas that are lame. And I'm... Rolling back cause I'm mad that I'm here and I'm mad that I'm there and I'm mad work scared cause I gotta get home from the snow and things but I got on home don't you see I like like things I don't really like that one <laughs> hold on we gotta find a good beat bro okay hold on maybe this might be it Vlogmas day nine said it's Vlogmas day nine. It's Vlogmas day nine said it's Vlogmas day nine. I gotta go home since it's Vlogmas day nine. It's Vlogmas day nine said it's Vlogmas day nine. I gotta go home cause it's snowing outside and you wanna let me stay. I said bye, sis, bye cause I'm gone. Ain't nothing you can do for me or tell me. Ain't nothing you can say that will make me just stand here. I'm really about to go when I walked on out the door when I got up in my car. And I spread it on them hoes Cause I, I don't play that shit I'm too old bro I don't play that shit I'm no teenage bro I gotta go When I say I gotta go Then I gotta motherfucking go Ain't nothing else for you to know I gotta go I don't ask no questions I don't do shit But I teach the lessons And if you let me go At the end of this The shit wasn't really for me So it's fine Let it go And foul I think that was cold. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. It's Blumman's Day 9. Said it's Blumman's Day 9. It's Blumman's Day 9. Said it's Blumman's Day 9. Alright, y'all. It's snowing. My girl Rhea. She about to take some pictures. At home. It's so pretty. Look at it. It kind of made my day for real. My whole day. Because I told y'all I was in my feelings about my auntie. It's so pretty, bro. And I got snow all in my eyelashes. Just look cute. Cute, 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 cute. Put it in there. Where we going to? Don't drop my camera. Man, I got this damn camera. I got a camera. Don't try to fucking play me. I don't drop my camera. You taking a picture with your camera too? This would be cute if I had some like snow eyelashes. Like, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> oh 
Ah, 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 ah,